Hi guys. So, what's up? Um, I, myself, have kind of been sitting here realizing the fact that starting Wednesday will mark the point where I have not posted a video in two weeks. And that is killing me inside. And as a result, I've been working hard on getting something done for a video to go up, and then after that will be the Brick Fair video, and then after that will be some LEGO Star Wars reviews, and I'll show you what's going to come before the Brick Fair video and the LEGO Star Wars reviews in just a second, what I have planned to come out in the next two days. Um, but I got back on Thursday. Got back from Brick Fair on Thursday. Brick Fair was awesome, but Brick Fair was hectic. And I was pulled in multiple different directions the entire duration of the event. It was great. It was brick fair. It was awesome. But it was insane. So I was only able to get photos of like 10% of the convention. Um, so I'm hoping that maybe uh, my buddy Joe, 111 Lego Reviews 111, or Graham, Texas Films. I don't know if he actually got photos, though. I don't know if, who, who got, I don't know what they got photos of. But maybe if I can just scavenge some photos from someone for the Brick Fair video, that would be nice. Because I don't want the, the whole Brick Fair video to just be like the footage I recorded of like uh, Jacob, JPO, uh, Joe 111, and Graham, Pexis, and I all just like screwing around at the convention. Uh, that, that probably wouldn't be that entertaining given that it's just kind of like it would be almost like a very personal video in a sense. Um, but yeah, so pretty much Brick Fair video is going to be the, the video to follow the showcase on two new custom clones. And uh, these custom clones being Commander Wolf. And um, you can see Commander Wolf, he's just, I'm really happy with the way he turned out. And this is uh, utilizing the new Clone Army Customs uh, helmet and rangefinder accessories. And they are just really awesome. And once I saw that Tyler had uh, finally gotten this helmet in production along with uh, his new wave, I was, you know, really, really encouraged and really inspired to make Commander Wolf. And by the way, it was really great to meet Tyler at Brick Fair once again. Um, and you can see, uh, or, I had met him prior to that, but you know what I mean. Um, but I'm just really happy the way the figure turned out. And excuse the pain on my fingers, but there's going to be a full showcase video on Commander Wolf, the Wolf, alongside, sorry, it's like 1 o'clock in the morning, alongside Commander, it's 1 o'clock in the morning, uh, Clone Trooper Comet, and uh, this is uh, really also something that I'm really kind of proud of, because looking back at, like, uh, say, my Commander Wolf, this piece of crap, from 2011, this is the last time I made Commander Wolf, this is my first time making Commander Wolf since this Commander Wolf from 2011, and this one is, like, lumpy and cruddy and... I don't know how I passed this off as a custom, but it just goes to show how each and every one of us innovate over the years, and uh, it's just really kind of interesting looking at the evolution of it, and I'm really happy with the way this Commander Wolf turned out, and I'm looking forward to doing the showcase video, so uh, pretty much, and also Comet, you can see Comet right there, um, so Comet also turned out great, uh, and, and by the way, those are uh, decal designs from uh, JPO, Jacob, J Jacob 97 Studios. Now JPO97 Studios. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I'm just kind of doing this vlog real quick before I go to bed because, like I said, I'm just sitting here thinking about it and I really haven't – it's going to hit the two-week mark in two days. And like I said, that's like crushing me inside because I want to you know, keep a, a steady rate of videos going and I'm trying. But uh, pretty much I want to post the showcase on Wolf and Comet and then that will give me more time – to uh, gather content for the Brick Fair video, and then to follow that will be reviews on some LEGO Star Wars sets, and then I have yet to decide what... Well, I mean, I have another custom that works, and by the way, uh, this is probably going to be kind of cool for, for some of you who, are, who like my Iron Man minifigures, because um, I finally made progress on the Silver Centurion. I got the whole triangular shape of his uh, arc reactor, and you can see it's uh, coming along fairly nicely, and this is very early stages. There's, like, barely anything on the figure. But I'm just happy that I made some sort of progress on the torso armor, so that's a good thing. Um, and then I went to Toys R Us recently, and I got a minion, so I have accomplished the world. So that's awesome. And then um, I also got one for my sister, so minions are great. Uh, I saw Pacific Rim. I mentioned that in the Brick Fair video. Never mind to that subject. Um, and just today, actually, uh, my dad and I assembled these today as well. We got these lights. You guys uh, are probably getting tired of these lights. These, these like, it's like light from Target. Uh, <laughs> I got these lights because these were recommended to me by Mr. Jacob, JPU97 Studios. And they're pretty much like these big, giant, uh, insane lights. And if I, can get, if I can see the freaking switch, that'd be nice. And they're just really freaking bright. And uh, I've got three of these. 
and pretty much they will make for a uh, much more uh, efficient recording process for reviews and just de just overall up the quality of my videos um, wherever these lights are needed because uh, you may not realize it but I do struggle with lighting uh, using the lights that I currently use but now I have these so really it's not current anyway I'm tired <laughs> so I should probably wrap this up um, but I started to unpack everything from Brick Fair if you were at Brick Fair you would have seen my, my displays and my Iron Man 3 mock um, but now I'm home and I'm finally unpacking everything and you can see here I've got like all my custom minifigures just like all lined up here and uh, pretty much I just unraveled them from uh, all the wrapping I had them in and uh, pulled the Iron Man 3 mock out so I'll have to put that all back together um, the case that the Iron Man 3 mock was in is actually still in the box so I have to pull that out and pretty much I started to unpack all that um, so that's good but um, also, I got the official photo of my Last of Us, Joel and Ellie, on Flickr, because you guys have uh, seen Joel and Ellie in the previews and uh, on these vlogs and uh, in other things, but I really never posted an official photo of them on Flickr. So I did that today, and uh, was it today? No, it was yesterday. Brain, work with me, please. And uh, right now, I'm waiting for it to load. There we go. And you can see it right there. And if you want to actually see the official photo, link to my Flickr will be in the description below. So that's good. Um, but yeah, so Minion is Minion. And Minions are Minions with eyeballs because they're little, cute, adorable Cyclopses. And I'm looking at the, I don't know why I like this Minion. It's just very cool. Uh, but yeah, so I've got a lot planned. I've got a lot of stuff that I'm working on. And uh, pretty much it's just a matter of trying to tackle it all. So... I just wanted to give you guys a quick update about what's going on and uh, how I am constantly working on things, whether you see it or not, on my main channel. Because that's why I have this channel, and that's why I have my Twitter and my Facebook, so you can see what's going on behind the scenes, whatever it may be. And in this case, it's me uh, organizing things to go up in an orderly fashion. So, yeah. That's what I've been doing. Just wanted to give you guys an update, like I said. So I think I will end it off at that. Um, I'm going to kick myself later because I'm sure there's something that I'm forgetting, like there always is. But uh, I'm only human, and uh, humans can only get assistance from bunnies. So that's where I'm at right now. And I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you guys later. Okay. Bye.